Yes, indeed. I, um, so, a bit of a serious town you got here. Again, right? You got a lot of churches going on, yeah? It's a serious town. I mean, it's pretty gothic walking around here. I mean, you know, like everywhere you go, you go, mm. <laughs> You know. I mean, I've got to say, I was, I'm not quite sure about the religion thing, you know? Oh, Jesus up there on the cross. He always looks like he's in pain, doesn't he? You know? One thing I've got to say, though, when Christian people put Jesus on the cross, he was up there for three days. They built that cross solid and strong. It's an image that's lasted 2,000 years, you know? And the Romans could build anything. They could build bridges. They could build churches, cathedrals. So when the Romans hung up Jesus, he was a builder himself. He would have sat up there and gone, hmm, that's good work, isn't it? What kind of wood's that? <laughs> Oak, is it? Very good, yes. He was lucky to be crucified, honestly, by the Romans. Imagine if he had been crucified by the Swedish. You've all had to go out making Ikea furniture, haven't you? <laughs> Jesus would have been standing there on the hill, surrounded by his disciples, going, My people, soon I will die for the sins of this planet. It will be a dramatic thing. And through the crowd, there'll be two Swedish guys carrying a huge box. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I am Bjorn, and that, and that is Benny. Come on, Benny. <laughs> and we're going to crucify you. Benny, have you got the instructions? <laughs> Put the Jesus on the cruise. <laughs> and Benny, have you got the four nails? Drew. <laughs> Bang the users and the crews. <laughs> After about three and a half hours, Jesus would be going, listen, are you sure about this? <laughs> but I believe Belgium nearly supplied the world the new pope. You were in the last, you were in the last three or four, right? In the last pope idols contest we had, right? <laughs> was, he, was, he, was he from the Flemish side or the French, uh, or the, the French side? It was, a Flem it was going to be a Flemish Pope. Oh, that would have been great. Uh, Benedictus, the Mass is ready. Maria. No, we, got it. we ended up now with a German Pope. I find that fairly, uh, that's unusual, isn't it? We now have a German Pope. A new, we have a German Prime Minister, we now have a German Pope. Um, no, I, I follow the Popes quite carefully. We don't... We don't have Italian popes anymore. The last one was uh, Polish, wasn't he? He was such a sweet old guy, wasn't he? Remember John Paul? He used to come out going, <laughs> Popes say weird stuff, though. You must know that as a Catholic country. The popes are out there. They're setting the world back 50 years. Pope uh, John Paul, he had this crazy politics. He was one of the first popes to always declare homosexuality is a sin in the eyes of God. Although he said it more like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's pretty strange politics. He, he was, I, I believe he was against homosexuality for a very good reason. John Paul had to walk through the Vatican 600 very sexually frustrated priests wearing a dress <laughs> bent over his little frame <laughs> toot toot me Jason <laughs> hi ho, hi ho <laughs> Maria get off me <laughs> he had a good reason to be against homosexuality the reason why we don't have Italian popes anymore is because a lot of the masses they give are in English. Now, an Italian pope, well, if you speak Italian, it sounds beautiful. Italian's a beautiful language, isn't it? Come on, Itali in Italian, it'd be like, Maria, Madonna, and other Italian words that sound very good. <laughs> you know, the Italians, they just groove and move. But when Italians speak English, they become gangsters, don't they? Don't they? Every Hollywood film, the Italian's not going, scusi prego, he's going, hey, fuck you, Jimmy. If you don't come with the money, I'll shoot you. 
So we'd have this horrible situation of going, uh, excuse me, Pope Antonio, a, uh, the mass is ready, okay? <laughs> okay, let's pray. <clears throat> Our Father who's in heaven, yeah, that's you. Come here. <laughs> Give us today the daily bread. Oh, Vinny here's gonna get the fucking bread, huh? <laughs> okay. Capish? Mm. Vinny, come here. Tell him if he doesn't give us any bread, his son will have a nasty accident. <laughs> I heard that, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> a lot of people think that Jesus should have come back in the year 2000. As a lot of Christians hoped. Christians hoped the year 2000. Jesus would have come back, made a return. And uh, they were very disappointed when he didn't. When the people were like, oh, why didn't he come back? I have a theory. I think he did come back. He was just waiting at the wrong bus stop in Tel Aviv, wasn't he? <laughs> My people, I am... <laughs> <laughs> then he'd have to go back home again, wouldn't he? What happened this time? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> don't want to talk about it. Thank you.